very interesting choice for the ninth inning. We needed to go all in to win this game. And that was our plan yesterday. If we had a lead late, we were going to go to either Toll or Becker, and whoever threw that inning was going to throw on Sunday, and whoever didn't was going to throw today. And so he threw an inning. It was like a bullpen, and now he's going to start tomorrow. So, but we needed to get that win. For We've been in enough close games. We needed to go all in to win that first one, and we did, and it paid off, and now we're all set for tomorrow. Speaking of Ryan, that was a very good performance today. It, he didn't overthrow. And from time to time, that's what he's done. But today, he stayed within himself, and yeah. for five minutes, he was on touch. Yeah, he, was, he had command of three pitches, and again, so did their guy. You know? yeah. So when you have command of three as a hitter, then you got to break it into thirds, and it's harder to do that if you're a two-pitch pitcher. You know? And that's been the difference with Becker. You know, he's getting his changeup over now. So uh, when you're a three-pitch pitcher and you can command a changeup, it makes it awfully difficult. And Ryan has a plus-plus changeup. And you got some key hits today when you really did. did. We did. You know, uh, Jacob Humphrey got us rolling a little bit. Uh, but then, to me, it was the two-out double by Proto, who had fought it a little bit, told him to get the head out, and he certainly did that. Got a hitter's count. We didn't have many of those again. And then Jimmy, who's Jimmy Two Strikes, I mean, that's all he does with two strikes. He's got such an unbelievable approach. And he found a hole, and it was hit just slow enough where we couldn't throw the guy out of the dish. But that's what happens, you know, when you need, when you need to kind of flip what we've been, what's been happening to us. We need to go do it, and we can't wait and sit back and wait for something to happen. And we went and did it. So they scored, we scored, they scored, we scored. And, you know, um, just proud of the effort from the guys. Is your bullpen more of a committee situation at the moment, or do you have set roles to set guys? It is now. I mean, uh, after what with Matt Draper struggling last weekend, yeah. um, we just are going to put the guy in there that we think is just the best matchup. I mean, I mean, Fortuna can certainly shut the door. Fusco can. Uh, Brandon Williams can. But if we need to, we need to be creative to win games to trust our backside until we get Draper back feeling the way he is. That's what we're going to do. And the schedule for the moment kind of helps you. You're not going to play again after tomorrow until next weekend. Correct. So that yeah. helps you as it well does. to make these kind of it decisions. Does. It does. You know, we're always going to play for the weekend and figure out midweek, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, we're I think we're in pretty good shape for tomorrow. We bring Duke back, Sal can come back. Um, you know, Becker's going to start. And, again, that was like his bullpen. So that was all the plan all along. And, you know, one, the game stayed tied. Williams is going back took the lead, Becker was coming up. Was there a pitch count in the ninth, just in case? <laughs> we need to win this game. Right. We would figure yeah. it out. We'd figure out tomorrow when we figure out tomorrow. But, uh, you know, and the other thing, too, I just like, you know, Bobby Gallagher hobbling on his leg, hits that double when he was fine, and then goes up hobbling, almost like... Uh, I thought the ball hit him at third when it popped up in the air. Yeah, that was just awful luck, too. You know, yeah, it oh, right, right. To the short side. Yeah. You know, I don't fault him on that. But, no. Um, but it was like Kirk Gibson. You know, he yep. walks to the plate, hobbles, and smashes, smashes the ball into ball. left. Yep. And just a really good hit. Uh, speaking of